Hey, thanks for tuning in to Twang and Bang. Nearly every single one of my most popular videos on this channel involves one thing, and it's this bow right here. It's the Hickory Creek inline crossbow. It is a vertical crossbow. It's a bullpup design, and it is one really, really neat bow. Its designer, Jerry Goff, has taken all the best features of this bow and made one that's even cooler. It is this bow right here. It is the mini and it's basically shrinking down much of what you see here into a bow that can shoot a 350 grain arrow at about 325 feet per second. And the mini from Hickory Creek Archery is what's coming up next on Twang and Bang. The crossbow in this video is a pre-production Hickory Creek Mini. The production mini will vary in many ways from what you see here, especially cosmetically, but the basic form and function should be the same. The mini has the familiar lines of the original inline vertical crossbow. It's a bullpup design with the rearward latch connected to the trigger by a long but smooth linkage. This gives the mini a 13 and a half inch power stroke in an overall length of only 27 inches. Weight including scope is just under six pounds and the mini can be set up for either right or left hand shooting with no additional parts. The split limbs are available in several draw weights from 90 pounds all the way to 150 pounds you see here. The production bow will throw a 350 grain arrow right around 325 feet per second, which is faster than most vertical bows set at real world draw lengths and weights. The scope mount includes a Picatinny rail and can be adjusted for windage, elevation, and even eye relief to ensure you maximize the field of view of whatever optic you choose. It's offset to the right of the string about one and a quarter inches, which I will cover in more detail later in the video. The trigger is the same jewel-like mechanism that has made Hickory Creek famous. Like my original inline, the Mini's trigger is one of the best I've used in all of archery. The design minimizes parts by using the trigger to both release the latch and reset it before drawing the bow. A simple swiveling bracket blocks the trigger when in a safe position and silently swings out of the way with zero chance of spooking game at the moment of truth. The Mini uses a string loop that automatically centers the string on a smooth gold latch every time. A lever in front of the gold latch prevents the bow from firing unless an arrow is in place, though it's still up to the shooter to ensure the arrow is fully snapped onto the serving and setting in the middle of the arrow rest. A sliding cheek protector keeps the shooter's face away from the string and latch. Shooters with long hair or jewelry should still be mindful to manage anything that could hang in the string's path. The full capture arrow rest uses three V-shaped brushes to align the arrow. The bracket is fully adjustable, allowing you to tune the mini for your arrow and broadhead combination. This contributes to the mini's exceptional accuracy with field tips and fixed and mechanical broadheads alike. The Mini uses a much improved self-centering insert to join the lightweight stock to the riser. A flat face on a stud aligns the grips parallel to the riser when the lock wheel is tightened down. The joint is as quick in operation as it is simple in design, showing why Jerry never stops tinkering to make his products better. Cocking the Mini with the 150 pound limbs can be a bit of a chore. It's helpful to wear gloves because the, the string can really bite into your hands after doing it for a while. First thing you need to do is Pull the trigger so you reset the latch, flip the safety into the safe position. Use those hands and just crank it on up there and make sure that the D-loop gets on the latch. Then you're ready to load the arrow. Loading the arrow itself is pretty easy. All you have to do is pop it in the brushes from the side. Make sure you use the back of the arrow to push the anti-dry fire lever out of the way and snap the knock on the serving then close the cheek protector and you're ready to fire. It's actually really easy as long as you pay attention every step of the way. Once cocked, the Mini rewards you with a very nice trigger pull and extremely smooth release. The only crossbow I've ever fired with less vibration after the shot is the original inline crossbow and that's certainly helped by its larger size. This is actually a pretty big deal to pull off for such a small bow with a relatively high velocity and it's one of the many reasons that people enjoy shooting Hickory Creek crossbows so much. Just like with the original inline crossbow, the scope on the mini is offset to the right by about an inch and a quarter. It has to be to keep it out of the path of the string. And that offset can create some really weird things when you compare your point of aim to your point of impact at different yardages. I go over that in detail over a couple minutes of video in my review of the original inline crossbow. And I'm not gonna repeat everything here, but I have put a link in the video description that takes you directly to that section so you don't have to watch the, the whole review. 
Watch that. If you don't know how to use an offset scope, make sure you understand the things that I say in that section of that video before committing to getting this crossbow. That way you're not surprised when you start to shoot and see what you have to do in order to use it. I don't have any problems with it. I think it's great shooting a bow like this with an optic. No problem. Long story short, I sight my Hickory Creek crossbows that hit about an inch and a quarter left of my point of aim, so I don't have to worry about changing windage adjustments based upon target range. Here I'm aiming at the right edge of the yellow bullseye, getting a fantastic group for shooting offhand at 20 yards. For the last shot, I do the full Kentucky windage to put the arrow right in the bullseye. Whether you're shooting targets or game animals, you can count on the mini to put the arrows where you want them. One of the really cool things about the Mini is that you can hold it and shoot it with one hand really, really easily. A lot of people, they get into crossbows because they lose the ability to use one of their arms and makes it very hard for them to draw a regular bow back. And with the Mini, you, could have, you would have no problems no matter how much of a limit you had in one of your arms. It can be set up right or left-handed, so, so that doesn't matter. But it just balances super easy. <laughs> And you can drill bullseyes just like that, just with one hand. That's really cool. There are very few bows out there that, that can do that. And I, this might be the bow with the highest kinetic energy. It, it is a, the ones that I know that you can actually pick up, hold, and shoot very comfortably with one hand. Whether you're up in a tree stand, shooting from a blind, or shooting from sitting on the ground, the extra small size of the mini and the vertical limb orientation makes whatever shooting position you're in more compact. In fact, the vertical limbs give you shots at angles that will be very tough to pull off with a conventional crossbow. Shooting out of the tight corners of blinds or getting that deer that hangs up behind your tree stand won't be a problem for the Mini. I gotta admit, I'm a big fan of Jerry. I mean, not just, not just these bows, but he's a great guy. When you call customer service, mom sometimes answers the phone. Jerry's mom will answer the phone. So you know you're gonna get a, a good shake when you have any questions about a bow, even before you purchase, Jerry's gonna take care of you. And he keeps coming out with these great designs. The mini, the package that you see here, including a quiver and, and arrows, runs $750. You have to keep in mind, they are a low volume operation. Uh, you're not gonna get the same kind of prices that you're gonna get from a really big company that pumps out tens of thousands of bows. But that does put the mini a couple hundred dollars less than the original, which is still available for sale, which I, I'm still a huge fan of this bow. This is, this is smoother because it's bigger, it's quieter. This is still a really, really cool bow. But this, it's so small and it's not a toy. It is a real deal crossbow shooting arrows as fast or faster than most vertical bows that are out there, especially when you consider the fact that you can cock this and there are people that will never be able to draw back a vertical bow that can shoot 325 feet per second. Uh, and then the fact that it, it packs down so easily, uh, there's just nothing like it on the market. If you wanna learn more about the Mini from Hickory Creek Archery, be sure to click the link in the video description below. Be sure to follow me on Facebook at fb.com forward slash twangandbang.net that's spelled out D-O-T-N-E-T -E to see more pictures of the mini and videos of it in action. And be sure to click right here to subscribe so you can catch my next videos on bows, guns, and other cool stuff. I really appreciate you watching Twang and Bang, and I hope to see you next time.